Today is Monday. This is day two of the ration challenge. What the ration challenge is, is I'm taking the ration challenge and willing by living the same food rations as the refugees for one week. Just a small amount of rice, flour, lentils, chickpeas, beans, fish, and oil. And yes, that's it. You can sponsor me at myrationchallengeus.org slash. Then you go to the top right of the page and hit sponsor and then you type in my name, Bridger Earl. So far today, we have raised no money. That is sad, world. Come on, open your eyes. The ration challenge for this week is to bring awareness to what the refugees eat. Like you see here, they have provided us with oil, rice, chick beans. You have to add one more bag of rice and one more bag of flour, kidney beans, the sardines, which I did not get, I opted out, and red lentils. This challenge will be taking place June 16th through the 23rd. Hashtag ration challenge. Again, this is day two. As you guys can see, these kids are very happy in this picture because this is taken from last year's ration challenge when the America's people like me or other people around the world took part in the ration challenge. There's always time for play. Two young, sedan children run through the small alleyway after a food ration dispute in a ration refugee camp outside of Jordan. And this is for the ration challenge 2019. Can you imagine your children running through a alley because they're happy to get a small amount of rations? You gotta remember these rations are very, very small. Our teams get for rations. I will show you here in one second what we get. They give us a list and this booklet they give us to use. Your food for that box or quant quantity is rice, 15 ounces, lentils, 6 ounces, dried chickpeas is 3 ounces, canned sardines is 3.75 ounces, canned kidney beans is 15.5 ounces, and the vegetable oil or sunflower oil like I got is only 12 ounces. Then along with this, you can go along with this, you get coupons, as you guys can see here, rice, what they would get in the refugee camp would be a ticket like this and they can go up and redeem that at the end or the beginning of the month but they have to earn that food for that refugee camp can you imagine your kids and you being hungry there's many different ways through the week you'll learn through recipes and you'll get a glimpse of the refugee camp life how it is can you imagine your children being in a little shack like that and you're grateful to get a small box of rations like that that's what my rations look like for the this whole week coming up through June 16th to the 23rd. You'll meet faces and people through teams. I am doing this myself with young people. I'm trying to bring awareness to the impact that we can make. If you want to join my team and support me, go to the top right channel of, of here. I will show you this again one more time. It is myrationchallengeus.org slash and you go up to the top and hit the word sponsor type my name in Bridget Earl B-R-I-D-G-E-T-E-A-R-L and sponsor me jump on the buy-in wagon to put food in these children's bellies and their parents bellies it doesn't take very much you can donate as little as two dollars and show that you want to join my team and support these children not only are these children in Jordan getting food but if you guys were on my blog yesterday, you guys will learn that this ration challenge has also, sorry, they give you tickets, have also, here's a map, has changed the world. Mexico, Guatemala, Haiti, United States, um, Antigua, you can see the South Africa, Israel, Guam, um, Vietnam. So not only is it in Liberty, um, Kai, Kai, I'm sorry, I'm having trouble speaking right now, but United States support refugee families with the virtual service and resources to achieve this through a bright future for our children. Our children are very lucky for what they have over here. They're not grateful for what they have, but anyway, I'm going on to the next thing they asked us to share for 
this today for day two is crepes. And it's one half cup flour, one cup water, one teaspoon oil. Stir together the flour and water to form a small, thin paste. Heat up one teaspoon of oil in the medium pan. While the oil is heating, pour into one half of the crepe batter. Spread the batter thin in the pan. When the top of the crepe looks dry, which you see there, it is about 30 seconds. Flip the crepe. Cook for another additional 30 until the crepe is done. Remove the crepe from the pan and repeat the process 2 through 5 until you get all the crepes batter is used. Note, the hardest part of this recipe is getting the crepe batter right. The recipe quantity here should serve as a guideline. You should add a small amount of water and flour until you reach the correct consistency. Crepe batter is a thin, light pancake batter, but still aiming for the fine, thick paste. And this is what a crepe looks like, everybody. And again, that is your recipe. This one I will not be typing out, so I'm going to hold it here for you. You are more than likely to stop and pause this video, write it down if you want it. Scream out to me or holler in the comments, say, hey, I want that recipe. So here it is, and that again is for crepes. And this is what they look like. So make sure you guys get this and then click again one last time I'm going to show you it is my ration challenge us dot org go up to sponsor in the top right hand page type in my name Bridget Earl thank you